What a beautiful morning. It's Bear Sheen. Oh, good morning. You caught me sending out my call to nature. Um, I'm just appreciating our very beautiful view of our Airbnb. Today will be all about some beautiful seafood because Coromandel is very well known for its seafood, especially its oysters and mussels. So yeah, join us in our second day of exploring the beautiful Coromandel Peninsula. And uh, let's get going. Against all advice, we are having oysters for breakfast. I don't know, like my parents were like, oh, you shouldn't have oysters on an empty stomach. But you know, I shall just take that risk to my stomach. So we are here at Coromandel Oyster Co. It's just, oh, it's just such a lovely place. They go to takeaway shop and they're literally like right next to their farm. They can see the open ocean. So we just got a few oysters, some fish and chips, some chowders and some fritters. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I got some mussel chowder. It comes in a little cup, how cute. But like, can we just look how thick? This chowder is. Get a carrot and obviously a mussel. Mm. That is glorious, thick, goopy chowder. That's so good. And like with the mussels, especially me, because like I don't really like eating mussels by itself, but when it's done well with like other stuff, it's just. Mm -mm -mm. All right, next dish, but staying firmly in the goop category is their oyster bisque. I have no idea what's in it or what constitutes a bisque, but let's just taste it anyway. Mmm! Oh, that's really good. Mmm. Like the oyster flavor is faint, but it's just like very creamy and, and very creamy and very hearty. So this is the oyster and steak burger. It has already collapsed, but we'll, we'll, do a, we'll do our best. It looks like it's like these square buns as well, which is very interesting. They feel very soft some battered um, oysters, some, I think, onion relish on the inside, and some steak, so, oh my goodness. Mmm, this is really good though. I really like the combo with the, the chewy steak and the fresh, crispy battered oysters. Like the onion relish or chutney or something they got going on, that little sweetness, very good. Next dish is the oyster, oyster fritter? Yeah, oyster fritter. My goodness, I'm, my brain's not working. But first, squirts a lemon. Because what is seafood without lemon, you know? It's just classic combo. Let's cut it open. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, let's, what's in this? I mean, you know, it looks like a fritter. Uh, by itself, or I mean, I guess it's like lost all its like oyster textural, like you know, the typical oyster texture. It's kind of more like a mush now, like an oyster flavored mush, which is fine, you know, it's like a fritter. And the, and the batter is really, really crispy and, and light. It go well with some salt, and this is some aioli. Mm. Yeah, fine. Why is tomato sauce? You know, like. I remember when we went to um, the Mahonui mm -hmm. fish shop, we went on about how we like Heinz better. Because we grew up with Heinz and I feel like it's better on fish and chips. Like people ripping into us for not using the And I stand by it. I still like Heinz more. What are you gonna do about it? I didn't grow up here, I'm an immigrant. What are you gonna do? But we also love Wattie. Yeah, we do. <laughs> We're just totally not sponsored. <laughs> I do joke we do still like Wattie's in its applications such as takeaways. Mmm, that's really good. Now I'm gonna have the mussel fritter. So they give you an option to either get it like battered and deep fried or cooked in garlic butter on the grill. And we got that for the mussels and they say it's the popular option. So let's give it a go. Oh, mm. buttery, garlicky. I mean, you know, our standards for garlicky, this is a bit high because we're Filipino, but it's really good actually. I enjoyed this. Mm. Before we dig into the oysters, some fish and chips, some classic fish and chips. We got it with snapper, which is a bit more expensive than Gurnard, which is the default fish that it comes in, but you know, some lemon on it. Ah, that's good, yeah. Mm. Chase it with some chips. 
I mean, you really can't beat it. Some nice fresh seafood, some fish and chips by the water, right in the oyster farm. Welcome to Aliana's ASMR. Today, you're gonna be listening to Fried Snapper Crunch. <laughs> you hear that? Last but not least, oysters straight from the farm. These are Tacoma oysters, and if you've dined around Auckland, you will see these like just all around New Zealand because the Coromandel is renowned for its oysters. Yes, it's focusing, wow. Every time this camera focuses, I'm genuinely surprised. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. You know, it's a bit briny, but none of that nasty, um, nasty seafood flavor. That's how you know it's very fresh. Uh-huh. Yes. Put some lemon on that. Another one. Oh. <laughs> it was still attached. Another one. Oh, so good. Mmm, another one. Shell. Alright, final one. It's always nice to eat food straight from the source and just, it just goes to show like the quality like when you're in the farm, just so much better. Mmm. I would say this was a very relaxing meal. What are you saying? Is this is the sea just over there. Yeah, I mean we can't see water. It's very low tide. It's very low tide. You but know what that means? You can go to the hot water beach and dig up some sand. Yeah, because like my parents all morning were going on about how they we shouldn't have oysters for breakfast because it like ruin our stomachs. Well, it's fine. We got food poisoned in the Philippines. I think our stomachs can handle some raw oysters. Check back to our Philippine vlog, uh, specifically Binondo. You will see that was the day I was not there because yeah. I was sick. She wasn't there and I had to vlog by myself. Of course, you luggage. One of the, I mean, oh, so people vlog by themselves all the time, but it's like the fact that you were in there. Yeah, you can tell was he like... was a bit depressed from <laughs> without my presence. He was like, oh uh, yeah. Mm. Like, Eliana wasn't here because she's sick. <laughs> I just didn't have my eating, my foodie buddy. My foodie influencer vlogging buddy. We, uh, I have found a stick. <laughs> what are you, a dog? You shall not pass. Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you writing there? Well, you're right, huh? I did. All right, so we're in the main town and there's this like little market and of course we have to get some real fruit ice cream, just like Kiwi Essential, you know? Perfect. Thank you. Oh, yours. Thank you. All right, time to taste. We got the strawberry one, you know, our favorite. Mm. I mean, that is just refreshing. It's not too tart, which I like. Hey, you know, it just makes you feel good. So we also made a quick stop at the uh, the Coromandel Smoking Co. Not 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 like the cancer-inducing smoking. The more delicious type of smoking. They're very famous for their smoked seafood. So I got an orange roughy and some smoked mussel because obviously mussels are a specialty of the area. Um, we're just gonna take these home. We'll taste it later. But for now, we're just gonna walk around the Coromandel town a bit more. You know, just soak it in because we haven't actually been and explored the town. So see you guys at the next stop.
Oh, you know, we're just relaxing in the town. It's a very yeah. relaxing holiday. Yeah, I mean, I am a master of knowing how to relax. Just say you're a couch potato. <laughs> yes. Go on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Watch and learn, audience. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that? Wait, wait, wait. Alright, so we're here at Fangapua Beach where our very swaggy, swaggy sun hats because sun protection first, you know, New Zealand has one of the highest rates of skin cancer and we don't want to die of that today, do we? No. Yeah, so we're at Fangapoa Beach and one of the most popular things to do in the area is walk to the very world acclaimed New Chums Beach which has been voted like so many times as one of the best beaches in the world. The main draw to it is that it is completely underdeveloped, just natural beauty. It's a 30 minute walk from the car park through like the beach and some, some forest. So let's head over, I'm very excited to see it. Oh, this part is all rocks. I'm just gonna cease recording and just Focus on balancing because I do not want to crack my skull open in these rocks. <laughs> we finally made it. New Chum Beach. Huh. Neat. Ah, oh, we finally made it to New Chum Beach, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I wouldn't say it was an easy walk. But it was a short walk, it was like 20-30 minutes. You can literally feel like the the stranded, deserted island vibes of this place. I feel like, dare I say, castaway as well. It's very secluded. Like I said, the most major draw of this beach is like there's absolutely no development here. You won't see any like lifeboats, houses, anything. It's just all like native forest, which is so beautiful. Yeah, you just feel like you're a castaway in a stranded island. It's very nice. It's not the best looking day today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Water. <laughs> Right, I just straight up ran for like two minutes and I'm on like in the middle of the beach now But there's just something about this beach that I really love Obviously, it's not the prettiest. It's not like Asia white sand beaches or anything or like and it's kind of like the fact that you get to experience a beach Pre-human contact in a way. There's just something special about that And I know this is a popular beach so you don't exactly have the beach all to yourself But I feel like this beach is kind of like everyone knows the secret But everyone's trying to keep that secret as much as possible and what you get is just this rugged peak New Zealand beach That's just that's just absolutely stunning. Yanbi is but a a white dot on the screen. She's basically a white pixel. I better head back. <laughs> well, just as we were about to leave, the at least the weather improved. Looking re looking real nice, New Chum Beach. Looking real nice. Well, who doesn't love seconds? Ugh. Yay! Alright, that was a fantastic experience uh, trekking to New Chum Beach. When so many beaches around the world are like over-commercialized or all polluted, New Chum Beach. This is, this is a nice change of scenery. Very, very cool piece of very unique New Zealand scenery. Huh, ideal. All right, we just got back to the Airbnb from New Chums Beach. Before we get to dinner, I'm kind of getting itchy feet, but I'm gonna try some of the smoked fish I got from the Coromandel Smoked House. The smoked mussels with garlic and the the orange ruffy. Ooh, smells like. Oh yeah, you can you can definitely smell that uh, smoked flavor. All right, mussels first. Mmm, that is quite interesting indeed uh, that this, the smokiness is just permeating so beautifully. It's a bit harder than your normal muscle, but I guess it came from the fridge as well, so I don't know. The garlic's like subtle as well, so it's not too overpowering, so you can still really appreciate that beautiful, beautiful plump muscle. Alright, last one is the orange ruffy, which they said is like buttery and flaky. I got this because I asked the lady like, what, what do you recommend? I'm like, orange ruffy is a, is a good one apparently. Mmm, that is very beautiful, very simple. Mm. Yeah, just like the mussels, like very nice smoky aroma permeating throughout the fish. 
Mmm. I think the quality of the meat is just, really good. Well, we managed to finish all those delightful smoked uh, seafood. Very, very good. Uh, we might go back tomorrow and grab some more, but that was just the appetizer for our dinner at Coromandel Muscle Kitchen. Yes, we're gonna be having more seafood because I just can't get enough of it. Let's go. That's a bit so yeah. Golden. Golden. Go the way the sun shines into your eyes. Beautiful. I just took a shower. <laughs> All right, welcome to our dinner spot. We are at the Coromandel Muscle Kitchen. It's just past golden hour. I see the sun has already set. But it's a very, very beautiful scene. As I've mentioned many times in this video, Coromandel is known for its beautiful, beautiful mussels. And what better way to celebrate the, the bountiful seafood in this area than with a place that specializes in this. Oh, I'm very hungry. Let's eat. Villa Maria, sponsor us, please. Okay, nice. so we got their fettuccine. So this one is the creamy tomato. It comes with fish, prawns. Oh, I can smell the Parmesan a bit. And let's just get a bit of a fish chunk. Mmm, that is some nice seafood. Is it the best pasta I've had? No, <laughs> but it is very comforting, which is what matters, especially you're hungry like us, especially after a very uh, activity-filled day. All right, I'm gonna go through the half-shell mussel four by three combo. It's basically 12 mussels, but three flavors. One of them is um, herbed garlic butter, some basil, pesto, olive oil, and parmesan crumb. And the last one is gruyere cheese, chili oil, and chili flakes. Herbed garlic butter first. I already put a spritz of, I think it was lemon, but it was green, but probably lime. But. Mm. I felt like the herbage from the parsley as well. This is a nice touch. Gruyere cheese, chili oil, and chili flakes. I do love some uh, cheese coated um, and baked mussels. Like, like we literally used to have that so many, so much as children. Mmm. Oh, that's good as well. You know the mussels are very, uh, very plump and bouncy. Last one: basil, pesto, olive oil, and parmesan crumb. Mmm, no, parmesan crumb as well. You know, a textural difference that I really appreciate. The final one, but we've already dug into it. Is there one kilo muscle pot, which is like the thing that you have to go, you have to eat when you come here? And we got ours with an herb, garlic butter, white wine, creamy sauce. Yeah. One. Two. Yeah. Mm, that's three. I shall taste one by itself. I'm good. Some good mussels mm, and, a, and a bite of bread. All the sauce has sunk to the bottom. Uh, let's let's douse it in some of that white wine. I feel like the white wine could have been cooked a little bit more off. Like it's a bit too prominent, but you know it's really nice with the with the creamy sauce. Oh, those plump mussels. It is getting very dark, and with that, I believe we'll yeah we'll we'll, we'll end the video there. It was a very it was a very nice day again in Coromandel, you know, filled with delicious delicious seafood and also New Chum Beach. What a very very hidden gem, even though everyone knows about it. So yeah, we've got one more day in the Coromandel. We still got a lot of things to do. Anyway, we're just gonna wrap this day up. Hope you guys join us next week. Thank you guys for watching another one of our food and travel videos here in Auckland, and see you on the next one. Bye.